welcome back to another episode of Doodling Through Education. For my CC students, this is Cycle 1, Week 16, Science. And for everyone else, that just means we're going to be talking about volcanoes and specifically the four different types of volcanoes. If you haven't already, head on over to doodlingthrougheducation.com. There's a link in the description if you need it. Um, I have created some workbooks that go along with each of these videos. There's four worksheets per week per subject and they expand on each of the topics that we talk about in these videos. So you can head on over there um, and grab your worksheets. I have separated them by quarter if that makes it easier for you to buy them that way. Without further ado, let's start doodling. This week we're going to narrow in and talk about volcanoes and we're going to talk specifically about the four different kinds of volcanoes. But before we get started, we need to answer the question, what is a volcano? A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust and this opening allows hot liquid rock from deep, deep down in the earth to erupt to the surface. And this is called magma. When a volcano erupts, magma will rise to the surface, but not just magma, but hot gases as well. And this material can slowly flow out of this crack or hole in the ground or it could explode suddenly into the air. Sadly, volcanic eruptions can be and have been very destructive, but they can also create new landforms. There are about 1,500 potentially active volcanoes in the world today, and the tallest volcano that we know of in our whole solar system is not on Earth, but it is on Mars. And the name of this volcano is Olympus Mons, and it is actually 17 miles tall. Now, the largest volcano on Earth is located in Hawaii on the Big Island, and it's called Mauna Loa. Another fact about volcanoes um, is that they can produce what's called an ash cloud. And this ash cloud um, is just what you think it is. It is a cloud of ash and it can be very dangerous. It can be incredibly harmful for people to breathe and for planes to fly through. There are actually about 20 volcanoes erupting in the world at any given time. So let's talk about the four types of volcanoes. And um, to begin, let's talk about active volcanoes. An active volcano is one which has recently erupted and one that scientists believe will erupt again soon. So, Active volcanoes have this reservoir of magma that's located underneath their surface and in a chamber. And now this magma is molten rock and it can collect and collect and collect. And then the pressure will build up inside of this chamber, causing that magma to move throughout it and through the channels in the rock and then escape onto the Earth's surface. Now, once the magma reaches the Earth's surface, it's no longer known as magma, but it is now called lava. Now, it's typical when people think of volcanoes, they think of the lava that is coming out of the volcano, but not just lava comes out. They also release ash, rocks, and different types of gases. But 
This differs from volcano to volcano and all of the eruptions tend to be different. An example of an active volcano is Kilauea in Hawaii. This is one of the most active volcanoes in the world and has actually even been in a state of eruption countless times since we started recording eruptions in the 19th century. Now, let's briefly talk about intermittent volcanoes. These are volcanoes that are actually considered active, but are also considered to be intermittent because they aren't currently erupting, but they tend to erupt on a regular basis. And so they are technically considered active, but they can be active and intermittent where it's believed that they will erupt on a regular basis. Now, let's talk about dormant volcanoes. These are also technically active volcanoes, which means that they could erupt at any time, but they have not erupted for a long period of time. And so many scientists say that dormant volcanoes are sleeping, but could awaken any time in the future. It's really difficult to, for scientists to distinguish between an active volcano and a dormant volcano. And the reason for this is because dormant volcanoes still have that reservoir of magma underneath their surface. And so scientists know that they're going to erupt. They just cannot determine when exactly that will happen. An example of this type of volcano is Vesuvius in Italy. After many, many years of sleeping or being dormant, it erupted again in the year 1931, and it is dormant again now. Some other examples of dormant volcanoes would be some of the mountains in the northwest area of the United States. Most of these mountains have not erupted for a very long time, but there's still that magma plume underneath its surface. And last, let's talk about extinct volcanoes. An extinct volcano is one that scientists believe will never erupt again. These volcanoes don't have a magna, magma plume anymore, and they are believed to never have one again. This is not an exact science because there have been times where an extinct volcano can come back to life and erupt in a very surprising way. So this just shows that in the science of volcanoes, there's a lot of room to improve because there is still a lot of uncertainty involved in it. And that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed learning about volcanoes. Um, go ahead and grab those worksheets this week. Do your four worksheets as we expand and talk about volcanoes more throughout the week. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care. Bye.